Researchers at Draper Labs are taking a fresh look at how doctors find cancerous tissue. They're developing a new type of three-dimensional endoscope. Most endoscopes uh, are just like TV cameras that go inside your body. There's either a little TV chip at, at the tip of the endoscope, or you might have a, a bundle of fiber optics for taking the image outside where, where you would see it. But it's just looking at the surface of the tissue. But for a surgeon or a doctor that wants to know whether um, some particular patch of your intestines or your throat is cancerous, looking at the surface sometimes isn't enough. You need to see beneath the surface and look at the, um, the tissue structure or even the, the, with higher resolution the cell structure. That's why John Bernstein and his team are working on new tools that will give a holistic view of the tissue and take images below the tissue surface. And the endoscope is three millimeters in diameter uh -huh. and it's designed to go um, down someone's throat and look at, look at their vocal cords and uh, provide a three-dimensional image of the tissue structure on, underneath the, uh, the surface. So what the doctors really want is something, an endoscope they can go in and know instantly, gosh, that's cancer or that's precancerous growth, and then they can immediately remove it. Bernstein and his team aren't making the entire endoscope, they're just making the very tip, which contains a microelectrical mechanical mirror, or MEMS mirror for short. MEMS may sound a bit confusing, but they are basically just microscopic moving parts built on computer chips. With Bernstein's work, the MEMS component is a mirror. The MEMS mirror works with a laser beam inside the endoscope to help scan and illuminate the tissue. Together, they build a 3D image line, which helps reveal cancerous tissue beneath the surface. So what we're doing is, uh, with our endoscopes, we have a single laser beam that goes in and then we scan it back and forth. What our MEMS mirror does, the micro machine mirror, is it's the scanner. So that's what we're making, that's what we're making here at Draper, is the uh, micro mirror that does the scanning. On the very tip of this little endoscope. Right, there's a, there's a MEMS uh, micro mirror, which, so this yellow cable is the optical fiber. They put a laser beam through there, a very low power laser beam, mm -hmm. um, and that goes into here, bounces around, and then the MEMS mirror does this raster scan back and forth so that you can build up an image. We wanted to find out how and where these little MEMS mirrors are made, so Bernstein took us into his clean room to find out. It, it all happens here in the microfabrication facility. We're taking our designs we, that we started on a computer and we actually turn it into reality. And then we're all done. We have these little chips that do something. It's either an endoscope mirror or a microphone or a gyroscope or an accelerometer. Draper Labs and Mass General Hospital are working together to build the entire endoscope. And Mass General is where Bernstein is testing his new software. He says his team is already getting great results with the MEMS mirrors. For Discovery News, I'm Casey D. Gardner.